Hi friends, it's me Steve. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is the first time you discover me, I'm a 50 years old skincare expert, has over 30 years experience working in the cosmetic industry, and I have my own skincare company called Ibu Beauty. It's a small business. I would love if you can support my small business and check out ibubeauty.com. All the products at Ibu Beauty are custom made locally in California. We are vegan, cruelty free, and we donate $1 with every sale to our local no-kill animal shelter. So, if you want to learn tip and trick how to stay looking younger, definitely follow my YouTube channel, subscribe my YouTube channel here, turn on notification bell so that the time and day I release my video. Today's videos, we're gonna do a, a viral foundation demo and test. Are you guys ready? It's a Terra Terra Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. This is like viral product on TikTok. Everybody's talking about it. I see a lot of people complain about this uh, cushion foundation. I also see people raving about this found, uh, cushion foundation. So today we want to do a demo, see if this is good, and also teach you the proper way to use a cushion makeup. Because majority of people do this the wrong way, and you look very pasty. You look like a geisha, basically. So let's do this together. If you guys know about K-beauty or Asian beauty, cushion makeup is nothing new. It's been in Asia for many, many, many years. And until today, the US market is not very big at cushion because it's mostly targeted to Asia country. The shade range is definitely lighter. In Asia, when you're matching skin tone, it's not about matching skin, it's always a slightly lighter. And that's why the, <laughs> Um, the makeup always seems slightly lighter. And did you know why Asia in Asia they would like to make their skin look lighter by chance? Do you guys know that? Okay, so the story behind this is that back in, I don't know, 40, 50 years ago, right? Uh, people associate lighter complexions, meaning you have a better life. Darker complexion, you are more like a, a farm worker because you're working in the farm, so you're always outside, so darker skin tone. And if you're rich, you stay home, you don't get um, sun, so you have a lighter complexion. But of course, these are something that back in 50, 60 years ago. In today's time, they, they no longer think about that. However, in Asia, they do believe that crystal clear skin, meaning that when your skin has a more fair complexion, that radiant look, that represents you have a healthier looking skin. So that's why in Asia, it's all about crystal clear, just like SK2 slogan. And I remember that when I used to work at SK2, we will keep on telling the company that crystal clear translate in the US is really more focused on acne, not for radiant looking skin. And so it's a very, very different Western and the Eastern beauty, define, how they define beauty. So what's so cool about Terra Terra now, they have over 30 shades to choose from. And that's very, very big for cushion because like I said, cushion foundation, it's part of Asia culture. It's very new to the West. So for them to do a 30 shade, that's pretty amazing. All right, enough talking. Let's open this right now. Um, so the shade I have is a 21W. W stands for warm. So let me see what I have here. If you look at the shade, I'm going to put the shade on the right here, you can see. They have uh, from the lightest 13C, that's a cool shade. 13N means neutral shade. And then they have a 15, 17 warm shade starting at 17. And they have a darker shade from 40 to 55. That's pretty nice. So I have a natural ivory. This is the color I choose. Not sure if it is going to work, but we'll see. So immediately this packaging, I gotta tell you something. A lot of people don't realize this. This color, it's a very SK2 colors. I'm gonna put a screenshot if I can find it. So SK2 is one of the uh, top skin luxury skincare in Asia. So a lot of company, even especially for the K Beauty, they will make product look just like SK2 from the bottle, from the font. So immediately when you see this, you you 
in Asia, people will think, oh, this is probably from SK2, a luxury brand. I know for the Western world here, people probably don't even notice that, but I want to share with you. So their marketing, marketing strategy is very, very smart. Okay, so let's open this right now. When you bought this, you get a case and you get your foundation in here. But typically in Asia, when you're buying a cushion makeup, you always they always come with another refill. So this telling you that this company is really target Western world. Okay, so when you open it, there's a mirror right here, there's a cushion sponge right here, there's a plate right on the top, and when you open it, this is the actual cushion foundation. First, let me remove the plastic on the mirror first. In case you're not familiar with cushion makeup, it basically uh, a compact that they put they put a piece of a sponge inside and they put foundation in the sponge. Then they use this uh, this type of material sponge to uh, for application purpose. All right, see that they they fit just nicely in here, right? You want to do a very gently press a little bit. That's all you need. You see the makeup on here is very uneven, right? If you put this direct on the skin, immediately it will be very cakey, very heavy, and you're not gonna let it resolve. So ideally, the cover right here, this is where you put the uh, cushion sponge on the top. In here, you want, to, you want to basically press this on here a little bit. You see that? Kind of even it out, the makeup a little bit on the sponge like that. Do a couple times press, press like this, evenly dispute the foundation. So you want to be like this color, okay? That's a very, very important. Now let's try the color right now. When I wear cushions, I always like to work from the, the jawline towards the upper area. The reason why is if you put directly under the eye first, it may build up a lot, it looks very heavy. So I'm gonna do it from here first, just slightly pat it. Like I say, I'm not sure if this is my color, but you know, today's video is really to teach you how to use cushion and give you some background information about cushion makeup and around the, around my eye. So looking at this, the color is slightly lighter. I probably need to get a little one shade darker, but it's, you see that a little bit goes a long way. Obviously, if you want more forward coverage, you can do a little bit more, but I would just say go slow, don't go too fast. I don't really see. There is a fragrances in there. I think it's okay, the first application. Now, if I want to do a little bit more, I would just go back to this this area, take it, just pass, press on here, try to get some level over foundation on the pad and just slightly build it up. So I can tell you right now, 21 warm is slightly lighter. I should really get 24 warm, I think. So um, on this side, I'm using Terra Terra. Um, the color is slightly lighter, but it's not too bad. And you can even see it that when I press on the skin, it shows a little bit unevenness. And right here, you can see a little bit. And there's not a lot of radiant inside. Like I say, most Western world consumer do not want to look too much radiant. Uh, that you guys like to more a little bit more matte finish. So now this is just a regular cushion I have. From, I bought it in Taiwan, but it's also Korean brands. I'm gonna put this one on my face here. So same thing, I'm gonna press one time and press on here. I mean, you're gonna tell me which side do you like better. So you can see it on this, Just this is just a regular cushion, okay? Nothing fancy about it. You can see there's more radiance on this side of skin versus this side. Uh, because this is really target Asian complexions and the, the, the lifestyle because like I mentioned before. So what do you think? This is Terra Terra and this is the unknown brand. Oh my god, I just discovered this one that I should sell on Amazon too. In, this company is called Incel Derm and this is like double the price. So. Do you like this better on this side or this one better? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, okay? All right, so I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this one and put it on my own tinted moisturizer to show you the difference. All right, so this side is the Terra Terra 
and of course, I wanted to see how is my own makeup compared with Terra Terra. So this is my product, Ibu Beauty. This is not cushion makeup, obviously, it's our tinted moisturizer. Each bottle of this is 90% all skincare ingredients, hyaluronic acid for hydration, aloe vera for nourishing the skin. So I'm going to do about two pumps, and I'm going to use wet sponge like this and just massage in there. Let all the makeup tinted moisturizer absorb inside the sponge like this. Okay, let's just see how this works. And you tell me what you think about this. Which one looks better? So Terra Terra, if you use a lot, it will give you full coverage, obviously. And the way I'm teaching you is more sheer coverage, so it looks more natural, more like mistake proof. And so my tinted moisturizer from Ibu. It's not meant to be heavy duty, it's gonna be lightweight. It's just gonna be even on your skin tone a little bit. I know it's totally different things, I know that. But, you know, as a founder, I just wanna see how it is my makeup to compare these viral foundations, right? So I am telling you right now, I don't see much difference. Yeah, so definitely the comment down below, let me know which one you like better. Tierra Terra or myself, my Evil Beauty. And by the way, if you want to give my product a try, you can use our special discount code EBU30. You get 30% off on our website. Also, free shipping. EBU Beauty is also available on Amazon too. Alright, I hope you liked this video doing the demo of a viral foundation, Terra Terra, versus other Korean commission and EBU Beauty. Let me know which one you like the best. I want to say thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel. It means a lot to me. If you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel over here, turn on notification bell so you know the time and day I release my video. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye! Mooncast Multitasking Tinted Moisturizer by Ibu Beauty contains over 90% skin-loving ingredients, more skincare than makeup. Our hero ingredients are hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. Hyaluronic acid for hydration and brightening. Aloe vera to calm and soothe the skin. Carefully designed it for anyone with concerns of uneven complexions and or dehydrated skin. Suitable for all ages, lifestyles, and skin types. For dry skin, use over a moisturizer. Give a bottle a shake before use. Dispense 2 to 3 pumps onto the palm. Massage hands together and apply to the face. Start from the center outward. Covering the face, forehead, and neck.